A Prayer for Protection Psalm 91, verses 2 to 3 I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The world is evil. Its evils are on the increase day by day. There are so many seen and unseen dangers and threats. There are many wolves in sheep's clothing that we come across in our daily life. There is no safe haven on earth. However, Proverbs 18 verse 10 tells us the name of the Lord is a strong tower that guarantees the safety of everyone who trusts in him. 1. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. All our security men and military officers will only labor in vain if the Lord does not protect us. Our cautiousness does not guarantee our safety, only the Lord does. Whosoever the Lord does not protect is bound for doom. We all need the protection of God, both spiritually and physically. Many things happen in the spirit realm that we do not know anything about. Spiritual dangers are even more dreadful than physical ones. It is, however, the plan and will of God that we should live in safety and peace. I urge us to daily seek the face of God for safety and protection over our individual lives and families. God is faithful, and He will answer our prayers. Let us pray this prayer every day. Dear Heavenly Lord, I appreciate you for your protection over my life, family, and all those who are associated with me. It is you, Lord, that has always kept me from the hands of the evil ones. Heavenly Father, my heart is full of praise because you are a sure anchor that can never fail. You have never disappointed me, neither did you ever allow my enemies to get hold of me. This is one of the many wonderful attributes about you, Lord. Failure is not a part of you. You're a God of complete and utter perfection. You cannot do anything wrong. You never do anything incorrectly. There is no mistakes in you and in your actions. This gives me great peace because you are the one who protects me. Heavenly Father, as I pray to you today, I stand on your promise in Psalms 91 verse 11, which says, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. I ask that you assign your angels to me to protect and guard me in all my walks. Father, not only for myself, but also for my family. Let them be protected by your holy angels in Jesus' name. I ask that your eyes of protection will journey with me wherever I go. Please, Lord, do not allow me to go where your presence will not go with me. Let your mark of safety be upon me, Lord, for protection. Cover me with your wings, Lord. According to your word in Psalms 105, verse 15, cause me to escape all the evils that are set before me. Father, let every plan and snare that my enemies set before me fail utterly in Jesus' name. I declare Isaiah 54, verse 17, in the name of Jesus, that no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against me in judgment is condemned, because this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of him. I command every physical and spiritual weapon that may be fashioned against me this day to be destroyed. Let it not accomplish its purpose in my life, in Jesus' name. No plan of poverty against my life shall prosper in Jesus' name. Because your word says, Philippians 4, verse 19, 
And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Glory be to you. Lack will not be a part of my life in Jesus' name. No plan of sickness against my life shall prosper in Jesus' name. Because your word says in Exodus 23 verse 25, I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. What a wonderful promise, Father. You will take sickness away from me? Father, I pray that you take any sickness that is in my body that I know of and anything that I don't know enough in Jesus' name. No plan of fear against my life shall prosper in Jesus' name. Because your word says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of a sound mind. Blessed be your holy name. I have the spirit of power. I have the spirit of love. I have the spirit of a sound mind. And the spirit that is spoken of in this verse is the Holy Spirit. Enable me, Lord, to live a life in the Spirit, that I may live a life led by the Holy Spirit, that I may hear him when he guides me away from danger and bad situations in Jesus' name. I cover myself and my family with the blood of Jesus, and I pray that we are secured and protected with your blood from the attacks of the evil one. The Bible says in Exodus 12, verse 13, that the angels of destruction will pass us over when they see the blood. Therefore I mark myself with the blood of Jesus. Let evil pass me over. God, you are wonderful. You are my security. You are my protector. You are my defender. You are my shield. I rest my life and the life of my loved ones in your hands and glorify you. Psalms 32 verse 8 states, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Father, according to your word, I receive divine guidance for every move that I shall make. I will not walk myself into danger in Jesus' name. Lord, order my steps in the paths where your presence will journey with me. Cause your eye to oversee all my movements and watch me through dangerous paths. Psalms 23 verse 4 Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Lord, although the entire world has become a valley of the shadow of death and evil, I am rest assured that you are with me. With your presence, my safety is assured. Please, Lord, do not allow me to journey alone without your presence. Like you went before the Israelites in a pillar of cloud during the day and in a pillar of fire during the night, let your presence be with me at all times, O Lord. Father, I hinge on your word in Isaiah 43 verse 2, which says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Lord, I know that the fire will lack the ability to consume when you are in it. Even waters will lose the strength to overflow when you are therein. So walk with me through the fire, waters, and flames of life, O Lord. I declare that my going out and coming is secured in Jesus' name. I cancel every form of accidents over my life in Jesus' name. Let the ministry of guarding angels be activated over my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I know that my prayers have been answered and my day is free from evil in Jesus' name. Amen. Make sure you subscribe to the new Line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description.